This is Jungle Journey, day one, order and disorder for science. So we're talking a bit about creation today and how God made everything. And just to show kids that even if you had all of the ingredients, which God produced, you still can't make something higher functioning than just those ingredients alone. So the first part, we give the, each of the kids a little battery holder with leads, a battery, a little light bulb, and the light bulb holder. And then what we're gonna ask them is, we packaged it all like this, um, so each kid could have one in a bowl, and we're gonna ask them to gently dump that out and ask them if their light bulb came on. And they're probably gonna laugh and say, of course not. <laughs> but then we ask them to do it again. So I have them do it two times in a row to see if dumping it out would let their light come on, and the answer is always no. They will have to actually go ahead and put their battery in and attach these leads to the screws on their little light bulb holder, and now they have a working light bulb, but not just by putting the ingredients together. So then to make that point again a little bit, we do it with some blocks and we ask them all to dump these blocks out and see what kind of a pattern that they get. And then I show them my pattern and I ask them, did anybody's pattern exactly match mine? And of course it's not going to. So uh, they could sit here all day and dump them out. They're not gonna get this exact situation here. So this is just a lesson to teach them that even if you had all of the ingredients for creation, it's not gonna happen without God putting it together because we can't even make this come on without putting it together. This is Jungle Journey, day one, science, stack the layers. So since we're going to the jungle in this VBS, we are going to teach the kids a little bit about the different layers of the jungle or the rainforest. Um, and the way that we're gonna do this is we're going to use some transparency film that is printable. So it's just gonna be plain like this, but usually there is one side that they want you to print on. So make sure you follow the directions on your box and you're going to print from the template that is in your VBS kit. And then once you've done that, you're going to cut between each of these one, two, three, four things. And then this down here, that's just waste. Uh, we did not need that piece. So what we're going to wind up with for each of the kids is they've got these four pieces. The tallest one is going to be the emergent layer. Make sure that all of the writing is on the left hand side. The next tallest one is the canopy. This is where the most of the animals are gonna live. Then below that, we have the understory. And then at the bottom on the ground level, we have the forest floor. So what we did for our VBS um, and what you might wanna do for the younger kids anyway, is we pre-made the part of putting the brads in the bottom left corner. So you're gonna stack them all together and then down here in the bottom left corner with a very thin little hole punch, we punched a little hole in there and then we placed the brad through. And then we wound up with this product here. Uh, the older kids, if you want, if, if, if they're pretty good with crafty things, they can go ahead and punch their own hole and put their brad in. For the little ones, we went ahead and did it. The next step is to either have the kids draw with Sharpies an animal that would go in each of the layers, or what we did is we took these labels, they're matte clear labels, and we printed out a bird to go in the emergent layer. Uh, we have a snake for the understory, a sloth for the canopy, and a big cat for the forest floor. And I have one stuck here on my finger just so you can see when you take it off the paper, um, the background kind of goes away so you don't really see that, you just see the animal. But you don't have to print these out, you don't have to do this, you can just let the kids draw something in there if you like, uh, and then they get to take this home. And it's a reminder to them of the different layers of the forest. 